Hi, my name is Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I'm going to explain what I believe is the most important drum exercise of all, and that is the check patterns. I have been teaching a marching drum line for almost 25 years now, and the check pattern exercise is really well known in the marching band and drum corps world. I uh, first encountered it when I was in high school uh, in a book called Championship Marching Techniques by Tom Hannum. The check pattern exercise is all the different ways you can play four sixteenth notes in one beat. So we start with playing all of them, we end with playing none of them, and in between we play all the different combinations. It turns out there are 16 of those. Uh, we leave out just one, then we leave out two, then we leave out three. And uh, the exercise has us playing the check pattern on one, two eighth notes on two, the check pattern again on three, two eighth notes on four, and then in the next measure, we play the check pattern on one, two, and three, and then two eighth notes on four. So once through, check pattern one, which is all of the 16th notes, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One E and a two and three E and a four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one. So that is once through. I'm going to play each one four times. I'm going to start on just the snare. Then I'm going to play on the snare and toms then back to the snare, and then the snare and toms again. The important thing to remember on this exercise is that if you leave out a note, you also leave out the corresponding hand that would play that note. So it's right, left, right, left for all four of them. When you leave out any of the notes, you play the uh, next note on the hand that it would normally be on anyway. This is called the natural sticking method. Uh, it's very useful in marching band. Uh, if you approach the drum set that way, if you start it, start that way, you can, you know, vary depending on where you are, but that's a good baseline always to start with. During these exercises with my feet, I'm going to play quarter notes on the bass drum and all the upbeats on the hi-hat. So it'll be one and two and three and four and I'm going to play that through uh, throughout all the exercises. Uh, you could play just quarter notes. Uh, you could play nothing. You could play just the hi-hat, just the bass drum. Uh, depending on your skill level, uh, you can start uh, playing some different bass drum ostinato patterns under that if you want to work those in. Uh, it's a really versatile exercise, uh, and it helps you play a lot of different, different patterns with your hands while uh, you know doing some different things with your feet as well. So stay tuned for uh, the next 16 exercises. Uh, there'll be all the variations on the check patterns. I will also have these written out and uh, down in the video description below, there will be a link to that worksheet. Check pattern number one is all four notes and that is one E and a. Uh. Check pattern number two is the first three notes in the group of four, and that is one E and. Check pattern number three is the first, second, and fourth notes in the grouping of four, and that is one E, a. Uh. Check pattern number four is the first, third, and fourth note in each grouping of four, and that is one and a. Uh.
Check pattern number five is the second, third, and fourth note in each group of four. So you're leaving out just the first one, and that is E and a. Uh. Check pattern number six is the first and second note only in the group of four, and that is one E. Check pattern number seven is the first and third note in each group of four, and that is actually just one and. Uh, so it'll look a little bit strange because I'm playing the one and with my right, and then the two and I'm playing right left. Uh, so it, this one is a little bit weird, but if we're following the same pattern for all of them, that is the sticking here. Check pattern number eight is the first and fourth note of every group of four, and that is one, uh. Check pattern number nine is the second and third notes only of each group of four, and that is E and. Check pattern number 10 is the second and fourth note of each group of four, and that is the E and the uh. Check pattern number 11 is the third and fourth beat only of each group of four, and that is the and a. Uh. Check pattern number 12 is just the first note of each group, and that is the one.
Check pattern number 13 is just the second note in each group of four, and that is the E. Check pattern number 14 is just the third note in each group of four, and that is the and. Check pattern number 15 is just the fourth note of each group of four, and that is the uh. And the last check pattern, number 16, is none of the notes. Uh, it might seem kind of silly to play this, but you play them all, so we're going to play none of them as well. So there you have the 16 basic check patterns, and that's everything you can do with 16th notes in one complete beat. Uh, these are very useful for fills, uh, for different rhythms on the hi-hat, and you know just a variety of different things around the drum set. Uh, and this is what I think is the uh, most important uh, drum exercise of all, uh, because all we have is rhythm. Uh, and if yours isn't solid, uh, you're going to have a really hard time uh, fitting in with other people and playing in groups. Uh, so the check patterns are designed uh, to give you solid rhythm, uh, either on the snare drum or around the drums. Uh, once again, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check out the uh, social media sites. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the covers, all the lessons, and everything that's there. Take care.